Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got one that comes up quite often here. It's how to add a live Facebook feed to your website. It's really easy to do, and this is a great little feature to have. I mean, people can scroll up and down, look at your posts, interact with any videos without actually leaving your website or whatever your post may be. Like I say, really easy to do. We've got to grab a bit of code to do this today, but it's really easy. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. While that's being enabled, I'm going to open another tab and let's go over to Facebook developers and I'll put this URL down below the video. I'm doing it in an incognito just to make sure there's no login required. And I'm pretty sure there isn't yet yeah, that we're fine yet. Yeah, this is exactly the page I wanted to be on. Now, once to, you get to this page, have a look around. There's a great read. And there's great things to do here. But if you just want to embed your Facebook page or anybody's Facebook business page or anything, go down to where it says Facebook page URL. Once there, you can go to the page that you want to put in there. Obviously, I'm going to put in my own little system 22. But like I say, you can put in anybody's feed on your site, I believe. You can give it a width and a height if you want to. Maximum's 500. Well, let's give it 500. And it's got a minimum height of 70. So let's say give it 650 height. And as I've put that in there, you can see it's popped in down below here. You can choose to use a small header which has made that smaller up there. You can hide the cover photo. You can get it to adapt to the plugin container width. I'm actually going to leave that checked because that'll help it work on different devices. And you can choose to show friends faces or not there. I'm going to uncheck these. I'm going to have my regular header in there, I believe, with the photo. Once you're happy with what you've created down below there, Go ahead and hit the get code button. Now it's going to give it give us some JavaScript up here and some more code down below. I find it's easier to do it with the iframe next door. So if we just click on the tab to the iframe, we just got one big piece of code to deal with here. I'm going to copy this code from the opening pointy tag of the iframe to the last closing pointy tag. Make sure you get everything in there or this will not work. Once you've copied it, we can go back to our regular site. Well, let's go back down to where we want to work here. I've got a section here, blue tab. Inside the section, I've got a row, the green tab with two columns. I'm going to delete what we've got there and let's add our new version in. To do this today, I'm going to use a Divi code module. There's one right there, fantastic. If you're not using Divi, you can do this in any code module on any site. I believe Gutenberg's got one, or you can use a regular text module as long as you're in the text tab, not the visual tab. Okay, well, I'm gonna pop my code in there where it says code. And there it is. Our little timeline's shown up there. And if we look at the code here, we've got a width and a height, but that's not actually where we change it here. Not not these two right here. If we look up in the code above, we've got a width and a height up here. I think I need to take that back a little bit because it seems to be cutting it off. Let's change that 500 up here to maybe a 450. Yep, that's a lot better. And height wise, how are we doing with height? I don't think I want it quite as deep as that. I'd want it to cut off maybe about here or maybe after the first post there, they can still roll up and down. So let's try taking 100 off that height there, 650. Let's make that 550. Yeah, that's about right for me, I believe. But that's entirely up to you, obviously. But what you can also do is make sure this is going to work on tablet and mobile. 
If we go into our code, and this is common to most DV modules, roll over the code, you'll see some little icons appear. Little mobile phone icon. We can go into tablet. We can probably make that a little bit wider if we want to. That's about right. You could add a little bit more if you wanted to. And we can go into phone. And it's way too big on the phone. Let's put our code back in there. And we'll take it down to Let's try 350 maybe. Yeah, or just 300 probably. Great. So we got that on the phone. We've got this on the tablet. And in our desktop, we've got this version. So let's save our changes, little green button. Save the page changes. We'll exit the Visual Builder. Roll on down. There's our regular desktop. I could shave a little bit off the bottom, I think, there if I wanted to. That works fine. Let's have a look at it on tablet and mobile, see if it's going to convert well. I'm using Google Chrome with the great inspector tools. If I hit F12, bring up the inspector tools there. Let's toggle it to my devices. Here we are on an iPad. It's okay, I could probably make it a little bit bigger on that iPad. Now let's have a look on an iPhone. Yeah, that works perfectly. So there you go guys. There's how to embed a live Facebook feed into your website. Really easy and that's a great little feature to have on your site. People can interact with it, play your videos, read your posts. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Let's get those inspector tools out of the way. Before we go anywhere, I want to take a little bit off the bottom of here. I think if I go into this code module, I might be able to do it that way. So let's quickly enable the Visual Builder again. And we'll go down. And it's still showing that it's this tool. I think if I go back in there, if we look at our code here, we cut it down to 550 here, but it's still showing 650 in the height down here. So let's cut that back to 550. Yeah, that's done it. That's brought that little section back into the way I wanted it to look. Great, so let's save that. We're good to go. So there you go guys, there's how to embed a live Facebook feed into your website. Really easy and great little feature to have. People can interact with your videos, read your posts, like and share your Facebook feed. Fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.